so the applications can be from hobby store and also from where all the java applications will still work right ah okay good one um java no right but uh well this 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 is um there, there are two places you can get applications from mm. in the main menu you see ov store yeah okay uh, this will fire up a browser. It brings you to our OV store for N900 beta. Okay, so there's there's a bunch of apps down there. What do you know? Firefox is there. You get Iron Man 2 trailer. Angry Birds is a fantastic game. You gotta pay maybe a dollar on some other platforms, and it's free here, right? Uh, Facebook widget. So a lot of stuff are are here. Okay, this is one way you can get applications to your N900. The other way is to go to application manager okay here app manager here right um, here you can manage your apps uninstall this is the more interesting one download okay and then here you have access to um, various well, there are two major repositories basically um, there's a repository that we call MIMO extras and then that's basically where the open source community will post their apps right and then there's something else called MIMO select as well uh, and then MIMO select is like the community will judge the apps and then say, okay, these apps are somewhat better than the other apps, and then that's how we put them into MIMO Select. Okay, and then uh, in these repositories, then you can get a whole bunch of things, right? Uh, app blockers, battery graphs, uh, some games. Uh, the repository is very based on the idea of the Linux repositories, right? Kind of a similar concept, yeah. And then if you think you need extra fonts, you can uh, get it from here as well. So right. how, how do developers actually send in the application? Do they need to be validated by Nokia? Um, like I, what iPhone does? On OV Store, yes, but um, for my more extras, I can't comment for sure because uh, I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So these are the uh, two sources where you can get applications from. So I got my Facebook widget also. Well, Facebook widget, I can get it from OV Store as well, right? So a couple of interesting things that you can get from the repository. Yeah, the yeah. video playback. Yeah. The video, yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. Preferably 1080p, but 720p is also fine. I'm not really sure whether these videos, uh, what they are, and so on and so forth. But I'll just run a couple of stuff, lah. Yeah. So XVID will work. XVID will work. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. H two six four. Um, H two six four. I think is in there, right? In run. Uh, I just do a quick check. Yeah, yeah. I think MPEG four is there as well. Uh, in in terms of formats, uh, M MP four WMV are supported. Let me just increase the volume first. Right, and then maybe what I'll do is that I'll just set this down. Can you hear the sound? Just barely. Yeah. Okay. So you can see that the motion is very smooth. <coughs> yep. So how about uh, Chinese input text? Is it able to do so? So this device uh, comes shipped only with uh, European languages of which uh, English is the relevant one here for our market. Yeah. But um, in, in, in terms of receiving uh, SMSs in Chinese, right, or let's say um, browsing a website in Chinese, uh, you can do that on this device. Yeah. So no entry, uh, I mean, for input. Yeah, in, at the in, moment. input at the moment, no. Yeah, but then again, ha software. having said that, this is the open source software, mm. so maybe you know some third-party developer out there might provide it in the near future, or whatever. I know. So I can't really